Oh, hello there. Okay. Bauer, Chapman, two dudes that are pretty, pretty good at what they do. Okay. Looking at glove side mechanics, guys from the ebook, you know what we're doing. Guys watching this on YouTube have no idea what this is even about. It's a, um, it's a series in which I'm talking about seven components that influence the overall appearance of the glove side, right? So everyone's glove side looks different. You could probably do this for every component of the pitching mechanics, but um, I wanted to do this on the glove side because I don't think there's enough context out there regarding the glove side. So for this one, this is probably the most um, talked about, most understood maybe component is essentially glove arm extension. All right, so a little bit of context here. I don't have to go too deep into this because this video is actually for the ebook and I just did a whole entire breakdown video on this whole explanation of this component. Um, but essentially what I'm looking at is glove arm extension, not an absolute. All these components aren't gonna be labeled so much as an absolute, but something as a mechanism that could help influence the timing of trunk rotation. So to put it simply, when we look at the mechanics of the upper half in relation to the mechanics of the lower half, we want segmentation, we wanna create stretch, we wanna create rotational energy. So then the goal becomes, okay, we want to anchor down at a position in which we're stretched, right? So our upper body neutral, our lower body into rotation that creates rotational energy to be, ex um, to be released at the timing of which we anchor down. So then the question is, all right, how do we get there? So this is where glove side extension could play a role. Again, not absolute, um, but it could be uh, a piece that helps a lot of dudes. All right, let's get these guys both at ball release. So there we go, and there we go. Let's see if this syncs up accordingly. All right, so both guys, um, Chapman on the right, Bauer on the left, understand the concepts of what they're trying to do. Both guys probably are my most talked about in terms of pitching mechanics. So glove side extension, um, Chapman a little bit more counter rotation here with his trunk. Bauer's gonna be a little bit more linear with his glove side. Um, I talk about that as well within the ebook, but you're gonna notice that this glove side extension, all right, so let's just put it simply then has to then retract. So it's a, it's a, it's a um, action reaction type thing. So the action is glove side extension, and then the reaction is re, uh, retraction, which is gonna then influence, in my opinion, a more efficient arm action due to the timing of trunk rotation, okay? So action, glove side extension, now we fold. Here's another misconception that uh, I wanna do a little side segment on. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna do this, but it, the glove side, yes, it kind of folds. This Chapman video angle is tough. I didn't realize it was tough, sorry. But the trunk is getting it. It's going to get it, right? So the body is moving as the glove side's folding. So it almost looks as if the glove side's just kind of folding. But what we don't want to do is we don't want to pull in our glove side. That's going to cause us to then over-rotate or even rotate early. So we want to stay neutral so the body can continuously accelerate forward. So we're essentially, our trunk is going to get our glove side. All right. So then the glove side folds. That's where you see the retraction of both individuals there. And then as we anchor down, boom, we're going to get that one more clip forward. Boom. Now we can see we've accomplished the goal of keeping the trunk neutral at the point of which we anchor down. You see the opposite equal boom, boom, hands up, hands up, and now we're ready to roll. This is why it's so important to leverage the arm, and this is why the glove side mechanics are extremely important in essentially influencing a lot of goals of the upper body mechanics and the mechanics as a whole, right? Okay, so glove side extension, Bauer, Chapman, do it extremely well. Now they get to both accomplish the biggest piece in positioning and timing your arm accordingly to then have all of the energy that we've produced deliver the arm without having to independently generate energy. Glove side extension, just a, just a mechanism that could help influence 
timing and positioning. That was component number one. We have six more to cover. <laughs> All right. See you.